Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm going to explain the light dependent reaction for you. So, we start with light coming in to the chloroplast and hitting photosystem 2 on the thylakoid membrane. What this does is this excites an electron that is in the reaction center of photosystem 2. This excited electron leaves the chlorophyll molecule, and that is our process of photoionization. That electron is excited to a higher energy level. That electron is now going to move down that energy level through the electron transport chain. As that electron moves down the electron transport chain, it's going to lose energy. And that energy is used to pump H plus ions from the stroma into the thylakoid lumen. That is moving against the concentration gradient. And this is going to build up and establish that concentration gradient of H plus ions. At photosystem one, the light is going to excite another electron. This electron is now going to be excited to a higher energy level and is going to be accepted by NADP. And that NADP is going to be reduced to NADPH. Once that NADP has been NADPH has been reduced, that's going to go off to the light independent reaction. Follow for more if you want to see my video about the light independent reaction as well. Now, those H plus ions that have built up in the thylakoid lumen, they are going to move through the ATP synthase down their concentration gradient. The movement of these H plus ions provides energy for the production of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. This process is known as chemiosmosis. So there you have it. Now you know how ATP and NADPH are produced in the light-dependent reaction.